is Craft Room Crash and I'm outside Amy Guerrero's studio. Now she is mad about macrame and not the kind of macrame you remember from the 70s. Today's macrame is sleek and elevated. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Amy is nodding up today. Hi Jane. Hi. Come on in. All right. This is your craft room? Yeah. Wow. It is all knotted up. I have been macraming since probably junior high. So we've got <laughs> all of this rope here because macrame is the art of knot tying. I like to work on smaller wall hangings, plant hangers, and even keychain accessories. You just learn one knot of macrame and you can create so no. many different things. Yeah, it's really interesting to me how you can take just one neutral rope and you can create this whole interesting project from it. So a lot of it is cotton rope, which is the first update that you'll see between like the 70s macrame and like right. modern macrame. Uh -huh. What I like to do is be inspired by the 70s, but then utilize new materials to make it feel more updated and modern. The biggest thing I've ever made is probably like six foot by eight foot, and that took about two days. Are you nuts? <laughs> no, you're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are gonna be making a macrame plant hanger. A lot of people will come up and be like, my aunt's house was like full of plant hangers. And I love it because I partner my little macrame plant hangers with vintage mugs and the little plant inside of it to make just a really cute, adorable set. So I'm gonna give this back to you because I have no idea. When it comes to tying knots, I'm all thumbs. So you just start with your rope here. Mm. I've already pre-cut. We've started with three six-foot ropes and three nine-foot ropes just from this spool right here. So we're gonna start with a wrapping knot okay. to start our project. But you're gonna take this cord and you're going to leave yourself a little loop at the bottom uh -huh. here. And then like its namesake, you're just gonna wrap it around everything. Oh. So you've got this loop here, yeah. and then you're gonna be able to like tuck this up oh, inside Cause that's that piece wrap. we left up. She's like that's a magician, she did it so fast. <laughs> I gotta repeat. And that's it, it's knotted? Yeah, you're gonna start with this left one. Yup. You're gonna make what I call a four. I see. So then this one's over, over, and then under this third one here. This one here is gonna tuck behind everything up Pull through, it. I just call it the four hole. You're pulling it all the way through. And then once we tighten it up to the top, that is the first nut. Wow. Once we do that over and over again, it's actually gonna start to spiral. This is actually a two-step knot. So we're gonna start with what we already know. So you're gonna take your two outside cords. Okay. You're gonna take that left one and you're gonna do that four. I am doing the same thing you are, okay. And then instead of tightening all the way up to here, we're just going to leave it right there. Wait, so they're at the same height. Oh my gosh. Now, okay. we're gonna take our right cord mm -hmm. and we're gonna do like a backwards four. Oh, okay. Oh, we just made a square knot. Yeah. That's a so square you, knot. Yeah, you graduated to square knots. You could be a master macrame, have you I done? am a master macrame. Oh, she's a master macrame, excuse me. <laughs> Where's the crown? So next we are gonna finish the project with a wrapping knot. We're gonna hold it at the top and we're gonna create like a loop. And then this is like the wrapping part. Yep. And that's not gonna come apart. No, that'll hold just fine. It really is magic, Amy. And then you can trim your fringe to whatever length you think. Do you just go like this, like it's yep. like giving someone's hair a pon like a ponytail cut? Yeah, I really feel like I yes. should like go to hairdressing school yeah. when I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, cute. And then we have this cute, adorable mug with a little plant in it. That is so awesome. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love this. Thanks so much to Amy. Now we all know how to make a macrame hanging plant holder, reintroducing an old style in a modern new way. And that's what Amy is making in her craft room. What are you making in your craft room? I'll see you next time. This is so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. I think I can do it. Yeah. Oh, and hey, don't forget, happiness is handmade because crafting is not only an art form, but it's also a national sport. So that means you're a total pro, right? Master. Oh, master, right? <laughs> <laughs>